G'day, it's Mark and welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you know, we always cover old cars, car history, We've got the history of Falcon, the Chrysler Valiant, the Commodore, the Fairlane and a lot more. But in this episode, I'd like to know, is this the future of Mopar? Really keen to hear your thoughts. Don't forget also to give the channel a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and let's get into the episode. So this is the Dodge Charger Daytona EV uh, for 2025. I guess the question is, you know, will this car be successful in drawing legions of Mopar fans and previous owners of Dodge Chargers and Dodge Challengers back to the fold, maybe in addition to their petrol-powered vehicles, uh, to buy one of these new 2025 Dodge Charger Daytonas. As you could see by the opening uh, little video there, it has got a V8 noise behind it, but that is actually a uh, synthetic exhaust system, which I'll get into in a little bit uh, later in the video. But uh, it is uh, the first all-electric muscle car that... Um, has been released by Chrysler. And the car has 670 horsepower or 500 kilowatts, so it's certainly not lacking in the power department. Uh, US deliveries are set to begin in the third quarter of 2024, and uh, it may be sold in Australia. There's no be, no announcement being made at this stage, but uh, it's certainly been an interesting car. I quite like the look of the car. I think, uh, you know, I think it's a shame that the Challenger in particular and the Charger are not available anymore. But I think this is a good looking car in its own right. The pricing is uh, thought to start around $50,000 US, which is about 76,000 Australian. Now, as we all know, uh, part of the driving pleasure of having a, a V8 muscle car is the acoustics, you know, the sound that the, the car makes. And so uh, Dodge is pretty keen to see whether they could tap into that uh, V8 soundtrack by creating a synthetic version of it. And this synthesized uh, exhaust acoustic has been generated by the Dodge Charger Daytona's onboard Fatzonic exhaust, Fatzonic, F-A-T-Z-O-N-I-C. Uh, so that's, that's the noise generator that's... Uh, designed to put some excitement into, uh, I guess, the driving experience for this new vehicle, apart from, obviously, its blistering acceleration. The 2025 Dodge Charger Daytona is all new from the ground up, and it replaces the existing platforms for the Challenger and Charger, which are now 19 years old. It's amazing how quickly time has flown. For those that just can't bring themselves to buy an EV version, the EV version will be sold alongside a petrol-powered version, which will be uh, powered by a turbocharged inline six-cylinder. This petrol-powered uh, turbocharged inline six is going to be dubbed the six-pack, and that'll join the range in early 2025. The range-topping version will be called the Banshee, our uh, cool name, and that'll feature an 800-volt electrical uh, system with a two-speed transmission. There'll also be lower-powered uh, Dodge Charger EVs available, and they'll have to make do with a 400-volt platform, but all come with dual E-motors and a 100-kilowatt-hour battery. The entry level is the Daytona RT dual motor, which produces 370 kilowatts or 548 newton metres of power, with a Stage 1 power boost of 30 kilowatts, and that can launch the car from 0 to 60 miles an hour or 97, say 100 k's in 4.7 seconds. And the quarter mile can be completed in 13.1 seconds. Top speed is 221 kilometres per hour. If you option up for the SCAT pack, you get the Stage 2 power, uh, which is worth 60 extra kilowatts, and you'll get 500 kilowatts and 850 newton metres of torque that drops the zero to 60 mile an hour speed to 3.3 seconds, or the time to 3.3 seconds. And the quarter mile uh, you can achieve in 11.5 seconds. Although the top speed falls slightly to 216 kilometers an hour. 
If you prefer the charger with uh, petrol power, then Dodge will continue to offer that via its 3-litre twin-turbocharged inline six-cylinder that produces either 280 kilowatts, badges the six-pack, or 410 kilowatts, badges the six-pack HO. And uh, the high-output six-cylinder, the Turbo 6, is expected to be capable of sub-four-second, zero to 60 mile-an-hour figures. Interestingly, this is this new car is much bigger than the previous Charger, which is amazing, really. Uh, it mean, it's actually 203 millimetres longer and 127 millimetres wider than the old Charger and Challenger, and they were already pretty big cars. Uh, also, the standard all-wheel drive uh, is expected to weigh around 2,000 kilograms, while the Daytona EV tips the scales at an alarming 2,648 kilograms. That's heaps. Uh, that's heavier. My Lincoln Mark V is about 2,200 kilograms. So that's amazing when you think about it. Prices haven't been released at this stage, but around 50,000 is expected for the base, the base model. And uh, there's no news yet as to whether it will be available in right-hand drive uh, or in Australia. So here's another uh, example of this uh, synthetic V8 sound. What do you reckon? Does it pass the? Uh, does it pass muster? Does it pass the pub test? Does it sound like a V8? You don't have that supercharger whine from the old uh, Hellcat or the uh, Chargers, but you know I still think it sounds quite good. I think the design of the car I think is quite appealing. It's certainly got you know Dodge Charger. Uh, themes you know from the 68 to 70 model charger and one feature i really particularly like is the if you look at the front bonnet you can actually see that sort of t design which was the same as the shape or very similar to the shape uh, of the early charger bonnets or hoods but you can actually see right through it it cuts right through and i think that's quite a nice feature car does look pretty cool and I like some of the colours that they've also uh, showed in some of the initial uh, photographs from the, the launch uh, material that they've provided. So uh, yeah, be keen to hear your thoughts. What do you reckon? Is this car going to uh, be a success or not? So what do you think? Is this the future of Mopar? I've got to tell you, I'm going to miss the Dodge Challengers and the Dodge Chargers. It's a shame they couldn't have made those alongside this new model. I quite like the car. I think it looks pretty cool. It's well styled and it's got some uh, styling cues from some of the earlier Chrysler products, particularly that sort of 6970 Dodge Charger look. And it's sort of an amalgam of the Challenger and the Charger vehicles uh, into one vehicle, into one car, one body style. But I'd love to know what you think. Is this the future of Mopar? Please let us know. Thank you.